everyone and welcome back to Tales of Vesperia. I've gotten us back to where we were last time. I pretty much just had to go through a handful of cutscenes. I had to go through the whole getting Carol and address and whatnot scenario again. That was pretty much it. Uh, we saw this cutscene in the last video, so I'm going to skip it and get right to this fight, which is where we left off. And hopefully we aren't going to get slaughtered. Because it actually just occurred to me I didn't save after going through all those cutscenes again. So it would be really bad if we uh, had to go through it all again. But I'm going to overlimit right out the gate. Because it makes more sense to me to use it right now so it can start recharging even faster. And we can use the... Why am I not... Why am I not using an art? And do I have some kind of a... That was ridiculous. Do I have some kind of an art seal on me? I can't use arts. And there's that little X down by my body. What the heck is up with that? I need you to die, though. Like, now? Not being able to use arts is actually, like... Really, really annoying. Because I really, like... The combat in this game suddenly becomes horrible when you- oh my goodness. This is so loud. Do I- oh no, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. My audio is higher than it normally is, that's why it's so loud to me. I forgot. There we go. I had the audio turned up earlier, so uh... The game sounded a lot louder than me than it normally does for a second there. Hey, you, come here. I still can't use arts. Pretty sure a Panakia bottle can fix that, but I don't really want to use a Panakia bottle. I'm trying to do upward attacks so that I can hopefully do the, uh, the whatchamacallit. The Fatal Strike. Oh, he's actually got it all back. Never mind. Probably here in a second. Oh, never mind. I was going to say here in a second I'm going to get my level 2 over limit, and then I'll Panakia myself so that I can... That guy gave, like, no EXP. So he, like, wasn't even a boss, actually. Okay. I didn't expect that battle to go the way it did. But hey, we won. That's what matters. I must admit, you're very strong. Sir Kavor, it's the Flynn Brigade. Well, send him away. We tried, but he insists on coming down to perform an inspection. That lower quarter lout, he simply has no tact. What the heck? I recognize these two. These two are in the opening uh, cinematic, which I didn't show in any of the videos because it would just get copyrighted. This is our time to shine. I think we better be making with the escape, yeah? By the way, apparently Jaeger is super German in the Xbox 360 version, a commenter told me, so that's why he does the whole JA thing. Ah, what is this? Please step this way. Move, move. Time to get a move on. We'll get you next time. Somehow I don't think he will. What an original line. If we don't follow them, they'll... Wait, our job is to rescue Teal. But... I don't know whose job is what, but are we following them or not? Nah, I think we're good since Flynn is here. Everyone freeze! That's enough! Hey, just in time. Can you get up? Y yes. Sorry, but it looks like something's come up. You'll have to head back by yourself. Say hi to the wife and kid for us. I will, and thank you. So are we going after them? So we are going after them. I've read the R and the Wii backwards. Yeah, I'm sure Flynn has things under control here. Sound good, Carol? Yeah, plus I think Estelle's going to take off after the mini minute. Sorry. Jeez, we're going after them, right? So let's get going. Rita's as impatient as ever. Alright. Yuri, wait! Gotta run, Flynn! See you later, sucker. Lady Esteliz, this journey is far too dangerous for... Yeah, it's far too dangerous for me to go without a medic. Exactly, that's what he was going to say. And I agree wholeheartedly. Alright then, Carol's bag. I wonder why my bag works so well when I hit enemies with it. Huh? You don't know how your own bag works? Yeah, not really. Surely the bag just has a high level of air conductance. Air conductance. It's a measure of how easily something carries air. 
The air produced when you use strike arts must be easily conducted through that bag. So that's why enemies get weaker when I hit them with my bag? Exactly. It's the same as with my belt. Different people have different items that carry air for them more easily. Wow, interesting. Thanks, Rita. You sure don't know much about your own possessions. I guess I'd better take good care of my bag. That seems like a really random skit to have had right after that battle, but, you know, whatever. We'll just continue on our way then. Dang it. At least it wasn't a back attack. I still have this stupid art seal thing. This is so annoying. These, these enemies die really easily, though, so I'm not going to bother using a Panakia bottle, because we're just going to go to the harbor and rest in an inn, so... I really don't want to... Panakia bottles cost, like, 1k or something, I think. I'm not going to waste 1k just to make this fight less boring. Can I... Yeah, I was about to say, can I hit this thing? Medical boost. That sounds really handy. And you've learned Spear Master, which I think means you're good to move on to your next weapon? Oh, crud. Do I not have all those weapons I bought? No, I do. I still have the ore. All right. Uh, oh, you're still learning Burst Force. Never mind. You got to learn that first, then. Uh, you've learned Medical Boost, so you can move on to the Basilard. And then you're still learning that. Everyone else is still learning things except for you, but I don't think you have anything else. Yeah. All right. We're good. We're good. Sick. Let's hopefully... I didn't even see the enemy I ran into. Let's hopefully very quickly get over to the harbor and rest so I can get rid of this horrible art seal thing. I don't mind there being an art seal effect in the game. You know, makes sense and all. JRPG, that's something that's not super uncommon. But I'm not a fan of it being infinite. You'd think something as powerful as being able to seal all arts would have some kind of a timer on it, but apparently it just lasts forever. Jaeger's speech. That man called Jaeger certainly had a unique way of talking. Unique isn't the word I'd use. I had a hard time understanding some of the stuff he said. An ancient way of speaking, lost in this day and age. What? Are you serious? It would at least make a good story if that were true. <laughs> Judith. But up uh Judith continues to be one of the better uh, one of the better characters in the game. Granted, basically every character is really good, except for maybe Carol. Carol's just kinda an alright character. There's no sign of them. Looks like they ended up getting away. Or, you know, we miss them in the giant forest. Where are we, anyway? A forest in central Tobisia. If I'm right, Torm Harbor is east of here. We should probably just get to the harbor rather than going back to Heliord. What? But what about Kamor? Do we just let him go? I thought the purpose of your journey was to find Pharaoh. Well, I... I wasn't aware Brave Esperia was formed to follow your random whims. I, I'm sorry. That was never my intention. Ah, uh, she's just telling you to relax. Besides, Flynn's on the scene, right? You can be sure he'll take care of things. Hey, Pharaoh, Brave Vesperia, start explaining. Just about to ask the same question myself. My boy Raven is back! Huh? What, what the? What's wrong, Miss Genius Mage? Forget me already? It's me, Raven the Great. <laughs> Raven is so good. Who the heck do you... I told you, Raven the Great. Yeah, you just said it, Rita, come on. Man, you're a scary little kid, you know that? So, what are you up to? With all the stuff you've been doing, poor Raven got sent all the way out here to keep an eye on you. Why would they do that? First things first, let's go find an Inditorum Harbor. I'll tell you everything there. Raven's pretty hungry, you see. Raven needs to stop talking about himself in the third person. I suppose there's no point in hanging around here. Torum Harbor is a good first step. Torum Harbor, then. Would that be all right? Yes, of course. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to be selfish. Okay, let's go. 
kind of going through my head right now. I'm trying to put the power rankings of where I list all of the characters right now in terms of, like, my favorite to least favorite. Hunger is the best spice. I'm so hungry. I'm dying here. Already? The girls look like they're doing fine. Was that Estelle? Listen, her stomach's rumbling too. I can wait, though it's been a little difficult. Huh? That sounded like he came from Rita. Judy, you too. Are you trying to see who can hold out the longest? Perhaps a diet is a little bit like a competition in holding out. A diet? What do you need to diet for? Especially you, Rita. Lose any more weight and you'll... <laughs> I'm just waiting until I finish reading this book, okay? You're waiting to finish an entire book before you eat? Anyways, I'm with Raven 100%. None of these women need to be dieting. I know we haven't been gone for long, but I have to say, it still feels good to be back. Should I get you pansies some tissues, or can we go to the end now? I'm so hungry. All right, all right. To the end we go. Uh, yeah, power rankings of what characters I like the most right now. I think Yuri is definitely holding his spot as number one right now, which he's been doing for the majority of the game. Uh, let's see here. The stealth, this, this looks horrible, these, uh, facial animations. I, Carol, listen, you're not a bad character by any means, but you're definitely last place. Just because you're surrounded, it's like, you're in a really bad spot, dude. Because you're surrounded by, like, some of the best characters of all time in the tales of history. So, unfortunately, you just hit bottom of the bracket by default. Uh, Carol is definitely last. I hate to do this. But I think Rapid is right after Carol. How many characters are there in the game total? This is everyone except Flynn, right? So there are eight characters in the game? I'm not forgetting anyone. Patty, I guess, but I don't think she counts as, like, a party member. I don't think she ever joins the party, but I don't know that for certain. I'm not going to include Patty in this. Uh, I'm talking about the main eight, which are these seven and Flynn. I don't think I'm forgetting anyone, am I? I'm pretty sure I'm not. But anyways, Carol is definitely bottom of the barrel. He's eighth place. I, unfortunately... I have to put Rapide in 7th, just because he is amazing. Like, his design is fantastic, and I love that he exists. But he does basically nothing other than occasionally woof in Japanese and give Yuri someone to talk to when Yuri doesn't have any humans to converse with. So, uh... Rapide is 7th place, even though I love him dearly. Uh... I think Estelle is 6th? Estelle or Flynn? You know what? Flynn is 6th, Estelle is 5th. Uh, mainly because we don't get to see Flynn very much either, and we've seen more of Estelle. Obviously, this could totally change by the end of the game. I think after that, I have to put Raven. Again, haven't seen him too incredibly much, but he's definitely up there as well. I'm kind of torn between Judith and Rita on who to put 3rd and 2nd. I think, again, just because we haven't had Judith in the party for too long, even though she reminds me greatly of, like the child that Sheena and Zealous would have, basically a cross between the two, and Sheena and Zealous are, like, my two favorite characters from Symphonia. So that immediately puts her pretty high. Uh, I think for now she's in third. She could definitely end up in second, though, by the end of it. I think she's in third, and Rita is in second, because Rita is hilarious, uh, and I like her, at, like, take-no-crap attitude. So Rita gets second for now, and then Yuri is obviously in first, and he's probably going to be in first for the entirety of the game. This could all change as time goes on, but that's how I'm feeling with the characters right now. Welcome, is 300 gold to stay. Yes, I would. Let's do it. Get these horrible status effects out of here. Huh. So even the Union can't sit still when it knows a princess of the Empire is out on the loose. I love this sword so much. I'm so upset that we have an axe that's better that I'm going to have to switch to once I master this sword. Then the Dawn knows that I'm a candidate for the Imperial Throne, too. I mean, shouldn't everyone know that you're one of the two candidates? That doesn't seem like something that would be... Either it would not be kept on the down low, or it would be, like, impossible to keep on the down low. Yep, that's why he told me to come keep an eye on you. So you're here to observe her? That's kind of creepy. Really? What? Is it just me? Anyway, here I finally catch up with you, and I wind up sticking in my foot in that mess back there. It hasn't been easy for old Raven. 
Has Raven always talked about himself in the third person like this? Or is this something... Is this something I've never noticed, or has he just started doing this? But why worry so much about Estelle? It's only natural, considering the state of things between the Empire and the Union. Each side is trying to feel the other out. The Don just wants to keep track of their movements. So, you're all planning on looking for this pharaoh by going to the sands of Kagor? Yes. Do you know what sort of place a desert is? Well, it's hot and dry, and they've got a lot of sand there. That's putting it lightly. It's not as easy as all that, though. Our plan is to get to the area together first. And then... Then I guess we'll go around and ask where Pharaoh is. Yes, I can't see this plan ever failing. I don't even know where to begin commenting on that plan. Me either, Rita. You see, this is why Rita is second place. So it's not just that you don't want to go back to the castle anymore, right? Uh, well... It'd be easier on Old Raven if you did, though. I'm just saying. No, I'm sorry, but I have to know the truth behind Pharaoh's words. Huh. Well, the Desir continent actually suits me just fine. Why is that? I've got to go to Norda... Norda Polica? For another errand I'm running for the dawn? Have to deliver a letter to Bellius. Whoa, that's pretty important. That's the boss of the Coliseum and ruler of Nordopolica, isn't it? Technically speaking, she's called the Deuce. That was, like, the most perfect letter throw of all time. Do you know what's written in the letter? Ah, it's got something to do with those monsters that attack Dongrest. In particular, about that pharaoh chap you all are following. The Dawn thinks Bellius will know something about that monster. Looks like it just became worth our while to pay this Bellius a visit, too. Right. So if you don't mind, Raven here will just tag along with you. Why? Dude, I refuse to believe that before meeting back up with us, like, literally five minutes ago, Raven talked to about himself in the third person. I do not remember him doing this all the time. That's fine, but you'll have to follow the laws of Brave Vesperia. Got it. It's not like I can go join in your guild, you know. You understand. Why can't you join Brave Vesperia? He's a part of another guild, is he not? It's against the rules for anybody to be in two guilds at the same time. Yeah, see, exactly. And I guess, technically speaking, you are a member of Altosk. What do you mean, technically? So are we done? I'm going to go get some rest, then. Okay. What What do you think Rita's going to do? Hmm, what indeed. Does this mean we're on our own until we leave tomorrow? Yeah, we'll all meet down at the harbor then. Hey, Raven earned the old spy title. And I parted with everyone. Joy. Alright, well I guess this means we need to go chat with literally everyone. I will take that life bottle. Alright, well, Carol, you're first by default because you're the only one here for some reason. What's the matter, boss? Uh, I don't know if I like you calling me that. The boss is the boss. What would you have me call you instead? Just call me whatever you called me before. This boss thing seems a little over the top. He called you captain before. It makes me feel silly to have you calling me that. Don't you think you'll get used to it? Well, maybe. Well, you know way more about guilds than I do, right? I guess. The boss of a guild has to stand as a role model for everyone else. I wonder if I could be that great of a person. Come on, it's not like you're expected to be the best boss ever from the very beginning. You can take it a little at a time. For now, our guild has a job to complete. You're right. First, we need to take Estelle to meet Pharaoh. But do you think we'll be able to meet him? Our guild's job is to figure out a way to meet him. If we can't meet him, we won't get our reward, and people will lose confidence in our abilities. That's all there is to it. I think we may have picked something a little too tough for our first job. Nah, we're main characters. There's nothing too tough for us. It's more of a challenge that way, and our reward, our reward will be that much bigger, too. 
Let's make the best of it. Yeah. Good chat, good chat. Alright, well, now we gotta find everyone else, I assume. Probably in here, if I had to guess. This inn only has two rooms, by the way. What's up with that? Only Rita is in here. Everyone else must be out in the town. What's up, Rita? 